At hospice reception, ward sister Jo is briefing staff about new patient David's imminent arrival. OK, so i um, spoken to St Thomas's and the transport's on its way. Um, patient's wife should be here in about 10 minutes, so um, just give me a shout when she's here and then give me a shout when the ambulance is here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Patients like this do make me nervous, airways especially, because that is, that's his life. Um, if that airway comes out, we can't put it back in, um, which is quite... It goes against the grain of everything you're taught. If an airway comes out, you, you do what you can to, to maintain a patient's airway. In this case, that won't happen. Um, fortunately, it is stitched in place, so that shouldn't happen. Um, but you have to be aware of every eventuality, um, and that that does make me a little bit nervous. But at the same time, it's exciting and it's a challenge. And it's the kind of thing I thrive on because I like a bit of adrenaline. <laughs> As Joe finishes setting up, David finally arrives at the hospice with his mum, Chris, and wife, Angelina. Getting David here was hard because he's complex, tracky, and, and now he is totally blind. He lost his all eyesight in October. Lovely to meet you. It's a bit of a bump, and then we'll get you, get you settled in, all right? It takes a team of eight people to get David successfully transferred into his new bed. Now that he's comfortable, Joe can finally welcome him and his family to Eleanor. I introduced myself earlier, but my name's Joe. I'm the sister on the ward. And yeah, welcome to Eleanor, all of you. Um, such a pleasure to eventually get you here after all this time. Hopefully you settle in. If there's anything you need, please just shout for me and we'll do what we can to make your stay here as comfortable and as happy as possible. Thank you. All right. We wanted David at the Eleanor. It's a very calm environment. It's not hospitalised. They're very laid back, but they do a fantastic job. They really care about their patients. Every member of staff, well, you couldn't wish for better.